Hello everyone, Future AA here. In this video, we're looking at my first successful run on Vampire Survivors as Mortacio. Big thanks to my friend and longtime viewer Flak Magnet for grabbing me a copy and turning my attention to it. Did not expect this run to go that well, to be honest. But a game that's just pure serotonin injected into the bloodstream. Anyway, it's only a $3 game right now, so do go check it out. Very cool. Skelly Boy, today, we are playing as Mortacio. We've got double projectiles because we went for the ring as the upgrade so this is supposed to be an interesting sort of run we'll see how it goes we just learned that Gennaro is pretty OP when you give him the knives and when you get the uh, Pomerola so you're shooting the crosses at enemies and you can pretty much kill anything right in front of you I'm thinking that this will be very good the bones like if we get surrounded by enemies and then they start ricocheting off of each other but I still have yet to see whether this is a valid capital T truth, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and get our other upgrades. We'll try to keep doing that one focus. Th okay, here we go. I liked the cross a lot the last time. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna take it again. I like the I like the cross a lot. There it is. There it is. The Bible I've had mixed luck with. I mean, the Bible, like, maybe in its most upgraded form, you know, <laughs> it's so weird. Hey, guys, did you upgrade your Bibles yet? <laughs> it sounds like something that's, you know, it sounds like something that someone would try to convert you with. I, I don't really know. It doesn't really sound like anything. No, there's no such thing as an upgraded Bible. Who talks about this? But let's try just entirely new power-ups that we rarely use. I like Laurel, but maybe not this early. I think the Santa water is better. Probably just not a great pickup. But at the same time, like, I just, I don't want to, uh... Uh, actually, looking back on this, this might go horribly. We've just picked kind of random power-ups. But let's just continue with it and see how it goes. How much worse could it get, after all? See, the issue with my character right now, though, is that, like, he has no... He needs garlic. He needs something immediately surrounding him to defend him from adversity. You know, like, if adversity were to come in from right in front of me, like, if some adversity were just to walk up right, right in my face, I would be upset. Okay, here we go. Let's get these bones upgraded because maybe they can do something interesting. Here we go. We're getting a lot of gems because now we're starting to get this good ricochet effect going. Ah, uh, look at those bones. Those bones are doing a lot, and yet it's just still kind of random around me. I need garlic. I need garlic ASAP. And I got no garlic. Uh, ooh, none of these are good. If his fuzzer, as well as Ogre Kern Kernig. Thanks very much for the prime. Yeah, uh, you need... you. Oh, I didn't realize that power-ups came in certain pairs. Huh, interesting. Clover for the chest. Yeah, I believe you're right with the chest. Oh, Clovers can improve the chest, too. I actually did not know that. The more you know. The more you know, folks. I guess I could just stay in the Santa water. And that would, like, keep me alive from these bats. I just need some small circle area of effect around my character. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, it's... Mm, okay, let's do the axe. I don't really need the axe right now, but Jesus... It's like I'm getting all the wrong power-ups for this part of the game. Mm, come on. Come on, Skelly Boy. I don't know, doesn't the name Mortacio, his name seem kind of like Italian to you? Do you think that he's some kind of Italian painter? Like, oh, I just walked right into him. All right, well, fortunately, it's better off happening now that I make a mistake than later, because, okay, there we go. Doesn't it seem kind of counterintuitive that a skeleton would eat meat? Like, doesn't it seem more like he would consume milk? I don't know if I will allow this. All right, but maybe these bones will become extra powerful. See, like, the point of this is that I'm enjoying this game so much because I'm just discovering all these new combos that I didn't know existed before. It's so amazing. I, I, yeah, everybody in chat should check this out. It's only $3. $3. Yeah, I gotta get... What if he developed into a man the more I did that? Okay, I'm liking this axe thing. I'm liking level four in the axes this early. This is a... 
This is a, a vibe. Really a vibe. Hmm, okay, I like the, the empty tone, but I feel like I want to build up on other stuff before I get there. Although I'm not a big fan of the Santa water, let's just have more of it. Let's just have more of it. Ah, yes. You see the theme going here, though? We have water and we have fire. We have all of the elements. Maybe we need to think more about like, that as a build on our kids. Oh, he's shown. AKA Pigeon. I've been waiting to see you. Hmm. Hmm. Will we survive this? See, the thing that I'm very optimistic about with this character is look at all the damage that my axes are doing. If we can bring that out for a boss fight, then we'll we'll stand the fighting chance. We'll stand the fighting chance. And look at all of the uh, urine on the screen. There we are. All of that water. See, now this has some gravitas about it, this run now. Oh, look at them just showering in there. Though it seems, like, impossible to target it. It's like lightning. Ah, the Candelabra door. That's, a, that's an excellent name for an item, first off. Candelabra door. Uh, I love some good writing in a game. Hmm, okay, good. Each axe is individually dealing damage onto him. Ah, that was not such a long time to take down the great praying mantis. Why is a praying mantis considered evil? Is it? It can't be like some sort of a cult monster. I mean, if they were larger, praying mantises. In fact, praying mantises are terrifying. I don't know why we're not more scared of them. Like they seem like an enemy to humanity. You know what I mean? And don't like don't get me wrong. Like if I saw a praying mantis, like don't come after me. I know the FBI comes after people who fight praying mantises. Like, get this guy in jail. But, because they're supposed to be an endangered species, but that's only because they've been picking fights with everyone due to their bad posture, you know? Somebody's got to say the facts. I'm just talking now. I'm just talking. I don't know. You didn't... Who, does anyone trust praying man mantises or any type of mantis? And yet they seem like... Why do we consider them like zen insects, you know? Like grasshoppers, mantises. We think that they're so smart and precise, but they really just, they're not so great. I've seen what they're doing in the background. All right, here we go. Let's just reduce the cooldowns. I know it would be nice to get the knives again, but it seems too early to get started again. Do we can't the Labrador would be good. I don't know, now I'm kind of regretting not taking that night. Are you everybody here loves mantises so much? Why are you what are you gonna marry one? You gonna marry one? I bet you you couldn't. I bet you even if you tried to, they would Except for that guy who was running for the mayor of New York a while back and said that he would marry you if you wanted to marry a shoe. Which was actually quite funny. Hmm. Yes, I for one am against these mantises. All right, enough of that. I think it was a quirky and I didn't want to get that right then. I think it was a very quirky, fittingly quirky enemy to have in the game. We just don't have enough like area of effect and penetration here on some of these enemies though. Like see these hordes of bats, I can't do anything about. We need some type of garlic or something to deal with it. Though of course we have tons of projectiles going all over the screen. It's just, I need something with a little bit more thorough coverage. You know what I mean? Okay, it looks like that our, uh... Mm, all of these are good picks. All of these are good picks. Though that double projectile is really coming in handy. If I get drunk, do I start making sense? Generally speaking, just more talkative. I've been told this. I've been told this. It's not really what I'd like, you know? But unfortunately, I'm not, like, an angry drunk. But it's also true that I talk for a living, so... Yeah, not really a quality I uh, I care to I care to talk about that much. Let's stop talking about that. Yes, look at that. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I write like you were thinking impossible, impossible. Hmm. Let's look at. Oh, good. Oh, good. But what am I supposed to do? Oh, erases everything inside. Now wait a minute. 
What would that do? What would this do? Way you don't... Than specific reptile. I'm assuming that... Yeah, specific reptile is my arch enemy. Please unsubscribe to specific reptile. Oh, I can't stand that guy. Thank you, J-Mac. It would sca- does it scam me? It kills everything, it also erases the gem. Okay, so it's basically like if you're really screwed. Uh, so save it as I take it for like a time when you really need it. I think the only thing that's gonna directly help us right now is the empty tome, let's take that. It's okay, I mean more cooldown, I mean, yeah. Reduce cooldown with all of these things would be quite welcome. Right? Yeah, I don't wanna get rid of my gems because what if we get one of those gem collector things? I'll take that meat, I think it's about time for some meat. Yeah, have you checked your watch lately? It's almost meat time. Man, look at all of those axes just being urinated out of me. Oh, look at this. Oh, pyaw. Coming at him like uh, Howard Dean. There we go. Oh, so satisfying to see them move in a group. Look at them. There's something about this game that's so satisfying about watching, though. It's like watching water spill out of a off of a water fall, you know? Like a place where water falls. Hmm. Mm, okay, now I do want garlic, but I like all of these pickups. Which one is the closest to level eight? Um, what do we think? What do we think, folks? I'm thinking garlic only because I have no defense against bats right now. Balbid and Alan Sh Alan Shazar, thanks very much for Skazu, Susan. Thanks very much for the sub. Four months, appreciate it, my friend. Uh, okay, so we all are th garlic. I'm with you with garlic for sure. I don't know what any of these crazy hippies are. Why are they trying to seduce me into getting more of the other items? Um, come on, people, let's put our heads together and be smart. Let's do the right thing. Let's get the garlic. You always need garlic in this game. I've never look. I can just do that. Like, this is why gar having some garlic, even if it's not necessarily the best garlic, or if it's the shiniest garlic, is important. But I still think that that knife combo was really overpowered, because my god, look at it. See, that bat is non-consensually being kidnapped by these other bats. I won't allow this. Look at this. Look at this shit. Come on, let me get to that bat that wants to be with me. Oh, look at the large mantis has appeared beneath me. Come, grasshopper. Now we must fight. Come on. Here we go. Uh, ooh, uh, here we go now. Uh, whoops. Okay, I just got to get out of this whole situation. Here we go. Good. All right. Nice. Okay, I, it does appear as if I got that one. We're going to lead them astray. Good. We just got to get these things up. Now we got to lead them into a puddle. Come on. Please come over here. There's some chocolate over in this pile. Uh, come on, large mantis. Come on. You're just playing strong because you're protected by the law. It's true. Isn't that a rule? You're getting a lot of trouble if that, if you kill a praying mantis. I could never do this. I could never do this. There we are. I gave up a lot of health for no reason there. So focused on the mantis. All right, now I'm just uh, upset. I'm upset. Oh no, here come the skeletons. Here come the skeletons. And I don't have the garlic that I would trust for this type of encounter. Hang on a second. Ooh, ooh, this is a weird enemy to have trouble with. Oh, I don't like any of that. Let's get the, let's get the ax. Come on, my axes. And you have my sword and my bow and my sword. Yes, yes, yes. Follow the puddles. Follow the puddles to victory. There we are. Just go to one puddle at a time. I'll get back to those things from before. Okay. All right. We made it back to one of them. We made it back to one of them. Phew. That took a lot. How much am I being paid? No, this isn't a sponsored stream. This is just for me having fun. I, I do want to get... I feel bad about that. I want to get rid of that. I know I've done a couple of sponsored things, but they're always with companies that I like. I just I feel bad when I read comments like whenever I'm just having fun on a game like I don't mean that in a bad I just I don't know I, I read so many that people are just people have said why are you doing something edited or what is it sponsored 
for games where I wasn't sponsored. <laughs> this is like, use your ears, man. But no, no, no. Uh, it would. One quick thing is that if you're ever watching a stream that's, uh, okay, I guess we'll take night. We'll start down that road now. But uh, so that you know about everything. Ooh, this is good. Whoa, why did I get all of this? Did I glitch into this? I think I glitched into unlimited power-ups. Did I? No? Okay, apparently not. It would say hashtag ad, though. If, if, uh, if it were a sponsored thing. But the more you know, the more you know. Ooh, is that what the clover does, really? Ah, uh, I didn't know this about the clover. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Oh no, you're good hats. I just see it a lot. Wow. Wow. Oh, what could it be? Oh my god, it's five. Is it gonna be seven? Oh my god, I... I thought I was going to climax there. <laughs> that was very exciting, that was very exciting. If only I had some health. Oh my god, if I only had some health to enjoy this with. There's some health. Okay, this is stupid OP. Where did we get this strong? Holy cow, this is nice. Mm. Oh god, which one is at the max level now? Uh, none of them, but it's fine, we'll just work on that. Oh my god, this is really good. Look at the red gems, where are the red gems? I, we need a gem picker-upper thing. You know what I mean. We need one of those things to come out of the woodworks now. Is this really how... Is this really what the clover does? Are you kidding me? That's stupid OP. I never knew. I never knew. Okay, well, hang on a second. Be gone, wolves. Here we are. Very nice. Very nice to be doing all of this. Uh, I do like the garlic, but do I trust the garlic? And the garlic and the knife are at the same level. I say that we take a track door, honestly, because... I would rather get the other ones first right now. And there's just so many gems. My god, I might not survive, though. What if I don't survive? Where can I get out? Where can I get out? Come on, die. Okay, we gotta get through. No, ooh, the, the ghosts just... They keep blocking me off with more werewolves. Very upsetting, very upsetting. I really need... I need a, a big power spike right now. Because a lot could happen. If I get one. Come on. Okay, a red orb coming up. All right, let's get the cross. Cross, cross, cross. Red. Ah, nice. Cross. Full level. Okay, we're at level 8 with the cross. Nice. Phew. I'll take the faster speed for now, because I don't think a little bit of HP regen is really going to help me that much. Oof, Jesus Christ. Look at those axes. Oh, my God. This game is its very nice to watch. I'm curious, is it... It must be somewhat nice to watch stream, because I didn't think it would be this interesting. And yet, at the same time, it's like... It's kind of like gulping down a great big glass of water to watch this game. I don't know what it is about. It's just something nice about seeing that many enemies on screen at once. My god, look at all of these... Yes, it's hypnotic. It's it's almost like being lulled off to sleep. Uh, well, not really. Not at all. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's like whatever simile came into your head. It's really what I'm trying to say. Just look at how much damage we can feel right there, though. Okay, we got a bat. We got a, we got a dissenting bat right here. There we go. Uh, some deliverance from all of that. I feel bad that I can't watch chat, but it is it is certainly exciting to watch. What is this? What is this? Evolved Cross can deal critical damage requires clover. This thing is supposed to be pretty overpowered, right? Well, let's find out what it does. Uh, oh, that is kind of interesting. It just sends a sword out everywhere. My god, look at those swords. I liked what I originally had because it was right around me, but Jesus Christ, this is kind of nice too. I like it. I'm enjoying the destruction that's happening. Okay, now I just feel like I'm existing on the board a little bit. 
Um. Ah, what do we do? This one's kind of tough. I'm leaning toward a track orb. Yeah, orb. Only because, look, I can't even get out to the gems around me anymore. And I'm decent enough at avoiding damage. I don't know how we're avoiding damage. But somehow we are. Eventually we are going to need a single defensive item, though, because we have so far none of them in this run. And the plants are closing in on me. I need to just get out of here for a second. Oh, look, oh, I've got that right on top of the chest. I'm going to need to come back and get that chest in a second. Man, look at all of that. Wowzers. Here a vice for five dollars. Oh, thank you for calling, for making me into a vibe for five dollars and saying that. Hey, thank you very much, Ether Renegade. Much appreciated. Hang on a second. I am not able to get out of here. Hey, Ether Renegade, how are you, my friend? Hmm. Mm, come on, Rainbow Sword. Come on, we got things to do. You and me together. Uh, it's gonna clear out in a second. This is about as insane as it gets. I just gotta focus. Jesus. I, my fear is that the game will get too easy when we get all the upgrades, though. Because, you know, we've been getting the extra projectile. That's very nice. But it's also like... What happens if it just gets too easy? You know what I mean? The evolved axe is amazing. I believe you. We just need to evolve, like, one more thing. Okay, we gotta take out one more of these guys, then we get that. Uh, lucky. Um, I don't think that this is gonna make as much of a difference as much as all of our damage up by 10%. I'll take more Attractor because I didn't have it before, and I'll take even more Attractor because I didn't have it before. Okay, now we pretty much don't have to think about picking up the orbs on the screen anymore. Like, we will get to the orbs, we just need to move in their general direction. And they will be on me. But this is quite nice. Look at all of the room I have. Wow, very nice. Loving that, loving that. If only I could evolve this garlic. Okay, that is good, and we'll get another one. Um... Okay, I'll take wings now. Yeah, a little bit more movement speed would enhance all of that. They kind of compound with each other, you know what I mean? I'll take another level of garlic. Not that it's going to make much of a difference, but we might get some crowding in with the bats later on. All right, now is the time to... Oh my god, this is a lot of power-ups. Bible is good if you're not going area. If you go area, it goes pretty weak. Yeah. I guess, like, you kind of need to separate out in your head which one is area of effect, which one is concentrated damage, which one everything is. Oh, I could have saved this actually. Oh wow, that this weapon doesn't even go through the terrain. Now that's kind of interesting. Ah, I didn't think I was close enough. I did it again. Oh well. Was I really going to stay there? Was I really going to stay there? I think that this is even more powerful than our last character though. Our last character was certainly good and ah, I needed this. Okay, that's nice. All right, uh, let's get up the garlic again. Tome would also be good because we just have so many different things going every which way. Okay, let's take out this guy in a few seconds. Just look at how much damage we do, though. Focus fired all on one guy. We're even getting critical hits now. Look at that. It, the text turns yellow. They should rename this game Serotonin. Ooh, I like this scream. Well, those are uh, those will be useful. I wish we had more damage stuff though, because we still aren't quite evolved in our other pickups. We're at level eight in a bunch of these, but there's like three things that we still need to get evolved. How stupid overpowered is that going to be though? If you manage to get multiple things evolved, like you just you win at that point, I suppose. But I feel like I broke through a barrier. What philosophical challenge could I attempt in this game? I don't know, maybe like maximalism or hedonism? <laughs> I don't know, really more of a game that you would review, I suppose. The thing is that most of my videos are like Let's Plays, but they're uh, like more of a story. But you would need to review something like this. Like, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's no secret that I love sex videos. Um, what was I going to say? Um, 
you know, he even he reviewed something like synthetic. Ah, here we go. That's good. That was what I needed. Actually, we didn't really even have that much stuff to pick up there. Come on, I need the axe. I need the axe. I sometimes think if I would just be better off if I stood in one place and just let them come to me. Oh my god, they just... Oh, they're taking out so fast. No Seth videos, not Seth. That, that was a very fun thing to hear. Nah, yeah, well, I was just referring to, like, his old uh, videos. But he often reviews games that, like, no one would have heard about, you know? Or, like, games that have a small niche following but could really use a bigger following. I don't know, I've always loved making videos for this indie game crowd. You're a, you're a fine bunch of people. Nothing like mainstream, which is the reason why I would... Not that there's anything wrong with stuff that's mainstream, but there's just something, like, about... Uh, whoops, I didn't need that. Okay, now I've done that so many times. I, I gotta be honest. It's... It's it's just true that I enjoy watching things light up on the screen, and it makes me feel good. That's one of the main reasons why I play this game. And really, also, like, a, not a bad reason... Okay, we have no defensive items right now. Uh, too bad. It looks like we won't be getting any. Okay, they are closing in on me now. I am quite nervous. And there are bats over there, and there's probably going to be more bats coming in. Okay, we got to get to some spot where we're... Oh, no, not those bats. Uh, yeah, those bats really do become a problem. Okay, they are coming for me right now. Which way am I going to go? Ah, there we go. Okay, chest. Come on, give me something defensive. Ugh. Approaching the day where whatever I stream will be considered main... I'm surprised that there's 700 of us here right now. But, hey, God bless you folks for coming out and checking out this game and giving it a chance. It is certainly a vibe. It is certainly a vibe. Ooh, red orb. Red is the best color. Red is the best color. Oh my gosh. Look, it's like being Neo from the Matrix simulator. Why are there plants? Why are there plants around with no... Oh, look, it's like a violet or something. Which didn't give me an upgrade or a power-up. I think we're dealing more damage than the game had planned that we should be dealing at this point. Are we meant to take out the last of the enemies? What's, what is supposed to be happening here? Let's see if we can evolve the garlic in a moment. See what that will bring. What is what is happening here? Why are there just plants? What is what is the meaning of this? I don't like this. I don't like plants. I go outside and every day and I make it a point to just kill a lot of plants. <laughs> hmm. Ah, uh, yes, we do. We need the pomerola for garlic. You're right. You're right. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta go get that thing. We gotta go get the Bummerola. The next time I get it, I know I overlooked that upgrade, but... Look, a singular bat. Just eating in here. Look, and here come the mummies again. Oh, God, this is horrible. This is a very difficult stage because the plants are gradually getting closer together and the plants are difficult to kill because they're plants. They don't have a plan. They're plants. Actually, plants do have a plan. Get it? <laughs> Plan. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Jesus Christ, that was really funny. That was, that was very funny. Mmm. Mmm. I'm ugly and I'm proud. I know I have to get it. Candelabrador is so much better here, IMO. I know, I, I still haven't mastered all the upgrades. Today is the first day that I ever even got any far in the game at all. So, can you, like, can you only pick up one evolution upgrade? I kind of object to that. Candelabrador was good. I enjoyed the evolved garlic. That was kind of interesting. But it was also, like... Oh, you can have multiple. Okay, that's good. All right, so then let's get Pomerola just so that we have a chance at getting that nice garlic that gives us HP regen. That's a nice thing to have because the game really doesn't have that much HP regen built up, uh, built into it. With good reason, you know. We gotta keep, like, relocating. 
It's like, uh... uh Jesus Christ. Ah, here we go, another one of these things. Though, I don't know if these are actually considered bosses anymore. They don't always give the... Oh, no, they did. That, actually, he did give a pickup right there. I take back what I said. I, I've been a bad man. All right, we got the we got the HP regen garlic. Yay, us. Hooray for us. Good job. I've created another event horizon around myself. Yes. I... I'll take another projectile. I think more damage is usually just the default. Yes, the bosses drop larger experiencing or chest, depending on luck. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize that it all depended on the luck. So having more luck means not only that you get more choices, but that sometimes you might get like more pickups as well, which is quite nice. I think we've made it further this run than we did in our last one. I thought the last one was good too. Kinda of crazy though. We've already made it to the 24 minute mark. Jesus Christ. So I suppose what's the longest that you can survive like forever? The game does have an actually what is it? 25 minute Oh, the 25 minute mark is the What, it's a 30 minute uh game? I don't even know any of this. It would be nice to get another evolution though. I can say that much. Because clearly this character is very powerful. But there's still more scaling that we can do. Let's go back and get those gems that we left over there. As long as I can sustain the size of this circle, it makes me very optimistic. Because being able to keep your enemies in one place means that it's easier to collect the gems and you don't have to keep moving around so much. I mean, the fact that we've... Okay, here we go. There were some gems that we missed on this side. It really is one of those attract all gem things. Here we go. I guess all damage. Would I just do all cooldowns? Okay, these are plants that I've not encountered before. Oop, uh, this is a chest. Maybe. The problem is that I can't even see around me anymore. Alright. Pray for an evolution. Damn it. Can we evolve our movement somehow? To just teleport? That'd be nice. I can hardly even tell where the boss is anymore, though. I've not even seen some of these enemies. Like the big purple flowers? Why is purple a more difficult color? Alright, I think I think we're clearing them out. We've got the end of this wave. What's next, game? Reduce all cooldowns because... Eight, like, when you get to this much power, raising your percentage of anything, whether it's damage or cooldowns... Okay, somebody's coming to try to sell me something in a minute. Who's gonna try to sell me something? I can't even see who's trying to sell me something because... In Man, look at those critical hits, though. It's like I don't even need to do anything. Okay, this is a little upsetting. Should we just keep pushing in one direction? Yeah, let's try to escape this. Just yeet out so hard to one side that they can never even... Oh my god, look at all both of the meats over there. Okay, we'll try to, like, hold the line somewhere near these meats. No, I didn't expect the meat to jump that from that far away. But if we do this, then we can always just grab a meat if we need it. Alright, let's take another Pomerola. Just firing things in every which direction. Slightly bit. Where is the slightly bit? Wait a minute. Where is the slightly bigger flower lady? Can I even spot her? Did I kill the main boss without even? Can, does anyone see it on the screen? Not you, Jan. Thanks very much for the sub. I can't see any uh, indication of that on the screen. It would be a real shame if I killed the main. I mean, is the main boss back up there somewhere, or am I just perpetually trapped in plant? Hang on a second, there, there must be a way out. Let's keep on upgrading Pomerola and we'll the luck. Come on! Has anyone seen my son? Okay, here we go. Slightly different kinds of enemies again. No, very upsetting. Okay. Just no main boss. 
I really do like the boss fights because it just feels like this primal sense of, I don't know, engagement. When I, when I meet, there we are, it's a thing. Okay, I see something good. I see something good on the upper left-hand corner. It's the magnet thing that's gonna get me all of the upgrades. Let me just finish off this guy. What did I get? I got a clover. Very nice. And let's go walk over there and watch this. I'm just gonna poop on the whole game. There we go. Okay, and now we have only one option. All right, have we beaten the game? I mean, is that it? Oh, po yes, bosses do tell. Okay, thank you for confirming that. I was wondering about the boss teleportation because it seemed as though they were teleporting to be present. They love being near me. All right, so I guess I'm just... Oh, if you get any item after that, I guess it just counts as an... No? Oh, no, I got another level up. All right, well, hey, I mean, I say all the more power to us. More coins? Okay, there's another one. There goes another one. But, I mean, it's just going to make us stronger in future runs. Oh, I think I'm at the end of the game here. Dear God, I love this. And yet I'm so sad. I kind of wanted it to go on forever. I love this game. Uh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I'm not used to this. This isn't something that I'm used to. Uh, ooh. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Oh, that was somewhat... I wish I had saved it for a minute. Okay, that's good. That's very good. Wow, that's pretty powerful. Uh, how do I get out of this group of people? I didn't really even deserve that last dub. I think I'm gonna die right here because I just can't withstand anymore. Yep, I'm gonna die. I just took damage. I hadn't taken damage in a, in a long time before that. Okay, I made it out somehow. I am barely alive. That's kind of crazy. Oh, this is where you just get to unlock a crap load of stuff. Wow. And yet, I still don't really feel that strong. Because I feared for my life, and I don't enjoy that. How many coins is that even? I feel as though I deserve a little more than that, don't you think? Don't you think? Ooh, ooh, silver bats, silver bats. This is the greatest game. This is the most satisfying game ever made. I could push north, I could push north, but now at this point, I'm I'm into it. You know, I need to survive another 30 seconds. Let's just try to survive for the rest of the game. I think somebody comes out and just kills you at the very end of the game. I don't think they ever give you the satisfaction of winning. You just get away for a long enough period of time. Okay, somehow made it out of that, and oh, wowzers. Oh, I love floor chicken. There we go, okay. I did need one of those, though. That was a great time for that event. And... Get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. Okay, and the Grim Reaper is here and I'm dead, and I won. Whew. Jesus. Come on, why kill me, though? I feel so satisfied that I beat the game. No, that that's the game. Like, you win. That That's how you win. The I didn't lose. That's just... <laughs> you die when you beat the game.